All right, we begin the action right now. Round number one, Shahirul versus Tan Yong Chiang. Ooh, a slick head movement here from the blue side from Mama Shahirul. That kick there got Tan Yong Chiang breathing deep. Good feints here from Ashraf. Tan Yong Chiang trying to find an attack. Being the taller fighter is. He's supposed to be. Supposed to be having the advantage. Really getting a chance at using that advantage yet. Another low kick there from Yong Chang. He's trying to take away the front foot. But most of those kicks are being checked. There's not much damage at all. Now Ashraf teeing off. That's checked right on the knee. End of round number one. Certainly hasn't done enough damage to really help convince the judges. Ah, this is more like it. So he's got to be a bit more aggressive. You know, that's one thing if you're going to have to deal with judges, you have to make it convincing. Merely playing like, just edging slightly better than your opponent, there will be many forms of ambiguity. So you never know how the judges see that fight. So it's always important. The best way to win a fight is to actually is to actually end it. Also, these shots from uh, Tan Yong Chang is missing and blocked. It's significantly blocked. You see again, those kicks are hitting the knee. It's not hitting the thigh. Ah, that's a, that's why you call a kick. Tan Yong Chang, not exactly. You know, I would say. Hasn't really mustered up the courage to actually get into a boxing train with his opponent. All those kicks are missing a lot. Again, being blocked right on the knee of Ashraf. Ashraf needs to find the time to engage. Again, Tan Yon Chang. And he's not extending his punches either. Oh, Duck Thunder. Real good head movement from Ashraf. Eyes wide open, the confidence is there. Looking real good. Looking real confident from the blue side. Ends round number two. Tan Yong Chang needs to do significant amount of damage if he wants to get a lead in this fight. I would, I would confidently say that Yong Chang might be losing. Oh my goodness! You see the damage there done from uh, Ashraf. Way more significant. See that how that kick gets Yong Chang off balance. Yong Chang needs to go in there. Oh! Right hand clean. Yong Chang now on the, being aggressive. 
Combination there from Ashraf. Ashraf certainly know how to hit and run. And they connect there for Yong Chan. A minute left in the third and final round. Oh, the right hand connects there. Under 45 to go. Oh, that's a good knee to the body there from Ashraf. That kid got blocked. Combination there from Ashra. <laughs> End of this fight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight went all three rounds of the judges' scorecard for a decision. Judge number one scores his contest. 30-28. Judge number two scores his contest 29-28. Judge number three's contest 29-29. This, this fight will have to go for one more round as it is a split draw. And we begin the fourth and final round. These guys have to turn up the game a little bit. A lot more aggression here from Yong Chiang. Fourth round. Fourth round, both guys have to go hard. And they have to go they have to go for a finish or at least try to go for utter domination. But most of the time that does tend to happen. Overhand there from Ashraf. Ooh, right hand there from Chiang. Oh, Superman just touching the face. It's not enough damage. Chiang needs to extend the, that hand much more if he wants to hit Ashraf. A lot of times he's just hitting it and retracting it a little bit too soon. But I can understand that he's trying to snap his hand back, get a good reaction, therefore he doesn't get hit. But a lot of these shots that like he's just a little bit off. Ashraf is definitely giving it all. Every time he throws, he throws with his whole body weight. So he definitely, definitely lands. Under 30 seconds to go. Oh, that right hand lands there for Asha. Combination. Out of the blue corner, Muhammad Shahirul Ashraf. 